everyone, Abby here with Scrap and Abby, and I have a really special um, video to share with all of you today because it's about my grandson, Kyron, of course. So none of this is really crafty related, but um, I do know that I have some of you, um, my crafty friends, my ladies and gents out there, that do, do reach out to me and ask me how Kyron's doing and that kind of stuff. So I thought I, I thought it might be kind of fun to pepper in some little videos of things that I'm either a making for him, which I'm working on something, or just some little you know cute clothes and toys and things like that that I'm that I'm boxing up to mail back to our little precious grandbaby in Oregon. So Kyron is about two weeks, or excuse me, two weeks. I wish, because I'd still be there with him. Um, Kyron is a little over two months old. He'll be three months on July 25th. So I, I keep finding some really, really cute things. It's, you know, it's, it, ever since I've become a grandma now, or a nana, actually, that's what I call myself, um, to Kyron, I am finding all kinds of just really adorable baby things and clothes. and Just, I don't know, maybe because I've just got, you know, grandbaby on the mind, on my mind. So I'm going to go ahead and just get this shared with all of you so I can get this package in the mail tomorrow for them. So these are some customizable um, washcloths that I got from Pick Your Plum. I talk about Pick Your Plum constantly on my channel. You can go, you can go search my videos or you know I have lots of different vid uh, videos of various things I've purchased from them and they have this really cool deal of I think it was six yeah six washcloths I can't remember can't remember the price of them but they had different colors and different fonts so you could get some that were more girl related or you know kind of boy whatever and I loved this font and that's his name Kyron so my cute little big grandbaby I just miss him so much so I got those so um his mama can use them on him or whatever they do smell like um uh, I can't explain it very well just they've got kind of like a a smell on the fabric from whatever they use to put the names on so of course I'll have her wash these before she he uses them she uses that baby soap drift which is what I use on my kids I don't have any real sites uh, wash them for her now these two items are very special these are from a very very um, lovely lady who is also um, well sh she is a friend for sure she's been um, a huge supporter of me and my channel and all of that and I won't say her name because I, I th think she might want to remain um, you know anonymous so to speak but she's a very very dear person to my heart and I just love her to death and she has reached out and sent me these two things for uh, my grandbaby and completely unexpected completely not necessary but thank you so much I have reached out to her since um, these came about a week or so ago so I did give proper you know thanks and everything but she got these cute adorable little Converse shoes and I'm gonna pop one out because of the glare on the box these are the most adorable things I have ever seen <laughs> my son is going to love these my son likes to um, he dresses really nice like real kind of hip trendy like and he's gonna love these shoes for his little baby boy I just know it they're absolutely ador adorable now I didn't send a picture of these to them because I wanted them to be surprised like I was whenever my friend sent this to me so these cute adorable shoes which are going to be awesome for him when he starts walking and then she also included these glow-in-the-dark socks now I have never seen glow-in-the-dark socks before that is really cool my kids would have loved that whenever um, you know they were younger so really cool designs it's kind of got like the green and then you can see the design on the black there's the red Ooh, I like the little lightning bolts that's cool and then there's the pattern for the blue and then lastly, kind of an almost neon yellow with the skull bones. Very cute. So thank you so much um, for sending the, those and thinking of my grandbaby. This is something that I purchased from a local um, toy shop downtown. And I think they are fairly opened. I'm not sure. Because, I mean, recently opened. I don't remember seeing them before. But that doesn't mean that they weren't there. Because I wasn't looking for little you know kid toy shops, I guess. And now it just screams out at me. So this is a really cute toy. And it's, um, let's see... The Manhattan Toy Company who's who makes it. I don't know if they have a website or not, but I'll give you that information so you uh, you can check them out yourself. Or if yep, they do have one actually. You probably can't read it when I or see it when I go to edit the video. I'll write their um, website across there because they're really really tiny. It says the Manhattan Toy Company. ManhattanToy.co.uk. Anyway, so uh, my friend Cindy actually saw this before I did. She and her husband and their kids came um, to Florida for a conference that they attend every year 
and then they made it a um, in Miami and then they made it kind of like a vacation as well so I was able to see them twice while they were here which was amazing so I'll insert a probably a couple pictures of them telling you that so we are kind of walking um, around downtown after we had dinner and um, to this toy shop it has some really cool toys and stuff in there so I wanted to share with you this is really cool I wish I I would have had something small and portable like this for my kids because they loved these kinds of toys when they were little of course they were the much bigger ones which are great for home and at grandma's house and things like that but this is really nice and small and portable and I like that it's got that round wood piece see how it kind of just bobbles around I think that's really cool so I'm excited for Kyron to um, play with that and have you know his mom send me some pictures and such so these are some um, I almost said chew toys <laughs> These are teething toys that I also, uh, or teething rings, necklace, whatever you want to call it, th that I purchased from Pick Your Plum as well at uh, different times. But this one's a really cool necklace. I don't want to open them because I, they're sealed and I want her to know that they're brand new. Um, this is kind of like a really pretty teal. And this is like a necklace that Emily can wear around her neck if she wants to. Or she can take it off and let Kyron just kind of, you know, chew on it. With supervision, of course. We don't want to be swallowing any part of that. And it's all, it's all like, um like the beads are like knotted in there so they can't come off and this one is a really cute giraffe I know it's hard to see but again I want to leave it you know sealed for her it's this really cute little giraffe and I like that kind of teal color so this actually is the color or this isn't teal I'm sorry I was looking at this one this is a really pretty kind of a blue now this is kind of the color that um, they are using as kind of like an accent in their the baby's nursery and stuff so I thought that was kind of fun to have that color and now for some super cute clothes oh my gosh so um th these I'll I'll mention the ones that I got from um off Facebook and then the ones I bought in the store so this is <laughs> it's so cute it says duh <laughs> and this is the bottom of these look at the bottom of these little pants these are so so cute I did buy these things about 12 months uh, um, I think some I think one might be yeah I think they're all 12 months because I wanted to kind of ha have some clothes for her 20s a little bit bigger this one is actually I think this is the one that's 12 to 16 months I think it said I can't remember because she's got a ton a ton of like you know little tiny baby clothes from newborn up to about you know five six months I really kind of wanted to uh, kind of give her some options for when he's a little bit bigger and when he's he's walking now I could have gotten these in like three months six months but I thought I'd kind of wait um be kind of cute whenever he was walking around and he has that little duh on there <laughs> I just think that's so funny because both my kids still to this day say it I say it, and so does my husband so it's just kind of funny this is another item that popped up on my um Facebook feed now I think because with the Facebook marketing whenever you go look um, at any kind of a website or shop online or anything like that or maybe you click like or follow on a store or something on Facebook somehow it knows and it tailors the ads that kind of get filtered in your feed with those different shops and that's how I came across this one and this one here and I believe these two this set right here so just to kind of explain I don't remember the names of this of the companies um, when I go to edit the video I will do my best to remember to go look in my order history my email and um, you know as I'm showing you each outfit writing the name of the store if I remember to do that so hopefully I will so this is really cute too this doesn't have any sleeves on it which I thought was adorable because she can put like you know a white tank or long sleeve or something underneath if she wants to or any kind of pop of color but this is the hood and I think that is just this is just my son this is just screams my son style these outfits it's just I can't explain it. it's just it's just just it's just Trey if they had it in his size <laughs> I would have bought him one too so this is the really cute hood on there and it says don't touch the hair now let me explain to you okay I'm African-American and obviously my two kids are as well and Kyron um, isn't as dark as Trey but he definitely is getting that kind of um, uh, curly hair kinky hair whatever you want to kind of call it and so this happened a lot when Trey was a baby when he was young um, he had the most gorgeous gorgeous dark curly hair when he was born and then obviously as he was getting older and it would get longer and just really really cute and I would get people I did not know when I was in the grocery store or you know 
walking in the mall or whatever and they would like either reach in the stroller which I did not like or they would reach over and you know tossle his hair like that and I'm like whoa <laughs> you don't touch other people's babies <laughs> you know so I thought this was kind of funny because you know it's just people do like to walk up and just touch your baby's hair your kid's hair I don't know why I see some adorable babies um all the time where even here in Florida and back Oregon whatever and, and I want to walk up there and just kind of play with their hair or pinch their cheeks, but you don't do that. So this is just kind of funny. This isn't more, uh, this did, I didn't buy this with the intention of like, don't you touch my baby's hair, blah. That's, I'm, it's kind of like a joke, I guess. Anyway, I'm over explaining this. So this was a 12 month one as well. And it's nice. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this on the back. I didn't even see that on the back side. What is that supposed to be? Just a graphic, I guess. Pretty cool. So, um... And the bottom, which is nice, it has the snap closure, so this is easy for her to snap and change diapers. This could definitely be something that, um, you know, he can wear in the summer because it's sleeveless, and also in the winter or whatever, or in the fall, because you can put a long sleeve item under here as well. So, very, very cute. I just thought this was adorable, so. Sorry for that long explanation. I was trying to, I didn't want anybody, anybody to be offended by it saying, don't touch my hair. It's, it's a joke. So this is another one that I purchased um, on a Facebook ad. These are so cute. I kind of was thinking these were going to have the same bottoms as this set here. I know it's hard to tell because it's black on black. Let me do this so you can kind of see what I mean. How it has kind of that little cuffed, um, you know, bottom, like a little cuff there. But this is fine. I'm still very pleased with it. I thought it was very, very cute. So these are the bottoms. This one I bought as six to, um, was it six to eight months? see if it's on the, the tag here. Um, no, it doesn't say on the tag what size I got. I, I don't remember. I'm so sorry. But I thought this was really cute. So this is the bottom. And you can, of course, roll these. She could, well, she could roll these up or tray, whatever they wanted to do, and kind of make them into, like, you know, a pair of shorts or, like, you know, just do one kind of cute roll or whatever. It's kind of trendy looking. And then this is the top that goes with it, and it says swag. Again, this is my son, a thousand percent. And um, it's cute because this is like sleeveless again, you know, so summer item or when the weather's, you know, warm, whatever, in the spring. And, um, you know, and the, she could put like a cute turtleneck or, you know, long sleeve shirt underneath that. And that way he, he would uh, be kept warm. So I thought this was super cute. <laughs> and I'm just excited for um, Trey and Emily to um, open this package. So now this last one, this these are something I got at Walmart. $3. Oh, I didn't tell you where this was from. I apologize. This is actually from... Um, Mini Owl, and that was the name of the shop that I, the, or the ad that was on my Facebook feed. So that's what, if you want to write that down, um, it says hand wash. She may not like me for that part, but <laughs> it was just too cute. I couldn't resist. So, but um, anyway, so here is uh, this outfit. I got this at Walmart. They had a ton of their baby clothes for marked down to three dollars and they had other size clothes too but again I'm just so focused on baby stuff and I kind of want to help them out with having getting clothes and toys and different things that they might need you know um, there's so much expense when you have a baby and I really want to help alleviate that as as their you know their mom and Trey and uh, Trey's Nana and uh, Kyron's Nana so this was really cute this is uh, I got this at six to nine months it's got a couple little dinosaurs on the bottom there and that's a really cute shirt. And then here is the, a onesie that came with it. This is a little bit longer, which is good because, like I said, she has a lot of the, um, you know, newborn up to kind of six-month type of clothes. So I wanted to get some options for, for when he's a little bit bigger. So this is really cute. I thought the dinosaur's there. And this really cute um, pair of just, oh, my gosh, I didn't see the back. I need to start looking at the back of these clothes. Look at that little dinosaur in the butt. That is so cute. So cute! Alright, so these are the sweatpants. Um, just like really nice gray. And this is that cuffed bottom I was trying to explain earlier and failed at so miserably. So I just wanted to share these with you before I box these up so I can get these dropped off in the mail. And, um, you know, it's... I'm more than just crafty stuff. You know, I, if I have a... You know, I talk about my... You know, my journey with my chronic pain. And I do mention my family and stuff when I'm doing videos and that kind of stuff. So it's just kind of fun for me to you know, include little bits and little, you know, sprinkling in some different things about our grandbaby and stuff, so, and family life. So, I ho hope that this was okay to do this kind of a video on my on my crafty channel. And, um, yeah, so I'm really excited to get these in um, the, the mails. And um, when Emily sends me photos of him wearing these different items, then I will, you know, 
course share those in future videos down the road and stuff especially with these shoes so thank you again my sweet friend you know exactly who you are and i love this love both of these it was a very very nice gesture of you you did not have to send anything um for my cute little grandbaby but i so appreciate that and before i forget she <laughs> She included a little dish for me. She is so sweet. She always is thinking um, about things I like and whatever when she's out and about, you know, thrifting, junking, whatever. And this is so sweet. I love it. It's on my craft table. And these are the kind of little dishes. I'm going to make this video crafty right now. <laughs> so these are the kind of little dishes I like to have on my craft table. So when I'm looking through beads on a project or, you know, you know I have, um, let me grab these little flowers I was actually working with right here. So I have like, um, little tiny flowers and things from prior projects and I'll kind of pull these out uh, I have them on these little cute tape a uh, little cute um, glass dishes and coasters and things so I can kind of pick what I'm uh, what I want to use on a project so I'm trying to spit out so hope that makes sense so thank you so much for this I absolutely love it and it sits on my craft table and that's where it will stay as I knock off my glue sorry I'm in the middle of packaging stuff so I got stuff all over my table so I'm gonna go ahead and quit um, gabbing at you all so thanks again for watching and I will see you next time so happy scrapping happy planning and happy crafting